So I was just reading about the new updated Quirk Design Pad. PDF output. And the Dropbox support. But particularly PDF output interests me is Quark Design Pad. I'm able to do brochure just to keep it kind of cool. I want to add a picture in here. Although it's not, it doesn't feel like spring here. Look at that image in there. Okay. Nice stock image. But maybe down here. I want to go into my camera roll. There, now we got a nice little image in there. You can also change the box shape if you wanted and change the the frame. Change it to that. Alright, then you can add text. And you go in and and you click done. And now we see it up top. You can, of course, adjust it as you like. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the other text right now because it's just a text. And up top there, you click the little button here, right next to Done. And you have all different sort of output options. Print, save the camera roll, also quite handy. You can email a ping file or email a PDF. So a lot of neat options here for designing little layouts on the on the go, so to speak. If you're in the train or traveling, you can make little publications. All right, so let's now email PDF file. I'm going to get an option. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, that was easy. And now when we click email PDF file you'll see the email pops up within right within our mail on the iPad so I'm gonna send this off here and let's see what we get on the other side alright so you see here we get a nice little email in here's the design we made in PDF see all of our text so I can take this now and drag it on my desktop here let's get rid of the email the PDF let's see what happens when we just open it up in preview. Oh, there we have it. Looks just like we we uh, we designed. See the text there, etc. Okay, now how can we get then Quark Design Pad to InDesign? Now it might seem a little bit strange, you know, coming from a Quark product to say, well, let's try to get it into InDesign. But the fact is, Quark Design Pad is loved by many designers. It's the only layout tool available, really only, you know, real feature-rich layout tool available on the iPad or a tablet. So this is a great way, Quark Design Pad, right into InDesign CS6. I mean, let's drop this on FlightCheck and see what that tells us first. FlightCheck will pre-flight more than 50 file formats, including native Quark and InDesign files, but also will check or post-flight PDF files. PDFX compliancy issues that may or may not be a problem for you. And you see the producer is an iPhone OS 6.1.2 Quark's PDF content. Very interesting. Open up InDesign CS6 in this case. And in InDesign CS6, you'll see a Marksware menu item up top in the upper right hand corner. There you'll find many of our products, including Quark to InDesign, but also our new PDF to DTP. And you see up here the marks and menu item, and PDF to DTP is available for Quark or InDesign. So we could effectively get this Quark design pad via the PDF back into Quark. But the problem is many designers who are using or tinkering with design pad on the iPad, or even the iPhone, will want to get this content into InDesign because that's what they use at work or at school or whatnot. And this is a great way to do that with marks versus PDF DTP, Quark design pad, to InDesign via PDF. You just go Convert PDF, select the PDF that you want to convert. Here we see it. We click Open, and it's that easy.
to get Quark Design Pad layouts right into Adobe InDesign CS6 via PDF. There it is, converting. This was a test for me too. I did it live on the fly here. And what you see right away is that the image came over with the frame exactly as we adjusted it to. The image looks 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 good. There it is. You can see we can move it around. This is now a fully new layout in Adobe InDesign CS6 that was just moments ago on Quark Design Pad on our iPad. We've freed up that content, which is Mark's first philosophy, for years and years. This is how we were brought into this business was freeing up content so you can use it where you need to use it. It's your content. And we see in the links panel, we see both images have, have came up. And I have a nice video on links panel InDesign you can watch over here as well. We see our text came over and we can now go in and and add it, and edit that if we wanted to. It's a fully new editable Adobe InDesign file. Really neat. Now what I want to show you here is something else. When we convert the file, we also create a job folder. And in that job folder, there are both the images used and the newly created InDesign file that was just a Quark design pad file moments ago. Now what's cool is I have these images right here. And these images were on the iPad. I didn't have them. But now I have them extracted out, available for allowing me to redesign this however I wish to or need to. This has been Mark Spare's PDF DTP, your way to edit PDF files or convert PDF files right into InDesign or Quark Express. In this case, you saw how you can get a Quark Design Pad version 1.5 PDF file right into Adobe InDesign. Quark Design Pad 1.5 is just out with a new version. It's a really cool layout app for on your iPad or iPhone, and I really recommend you checking it out. As you saw, it's free for most users, the new iPad app from Quark, now in version 1.5. And some of the advanced features, as you saw, did cost $8.99 or €9, Euros or probably uh, 10 or $11. And that's really a small price to pay for what you see you can do now on the road with your small little iPad or iPhone. By the way, PDF DTP just won another award. An iAwards from Mac Directory. It's been David Dilling from Marksware, wishing you a fantastic day.